pain radiating up the arm, uh, the jaw, the shoulder, all the things that you've read. It doesn't always have to be severe crushing fall on the ground, movie, you know, image chest pain. It can be subtle and Daniil's was subtle. I had experienced a bit of heaviness in my chest. Really felt like I just had eaten too much and ran too fast and had too many things on my body. I made every excuse. You know, she looked, by all you know, means, very healthy, and she felt well. She had a very severe blockage in the main artery of her heart, which is the left main artery. We were able to put a stent in, and we got a, a, a gorgeous result. If it wasn't found, when it closed, not if, but when it closed, it would have ended her life and it would have ended in two minutes. And to just know that my mom was walking around with that was horrible because if you looked at her, you never would have known. Daniil, she's a great representation to women that heart disease can happen to any woman, any age, any sort of background, um, and that we know it's the number one killer of women in this country. And I give her a lot of credit because she didn't minimize the symptoms. She didn't brush them under the rug. For a lot of women that I see, they are the last priority on their list of priorities. Their kids, their husband, their job, everything else comes before they do. Mm, because I love you so much. I can count on my hand how many times I've seen my mom just kind of lay down and watch TV. She's always doing something. What are you having for dinner tonight? dinner needed to be cooked and things needed to be done and you know you just kind of do that and that's something that we can't do anymore we've got to pay more attention to ourselves and that's what this is about it's about not letting uh, a disease like this cut people's life short because what a shame it would be I mean she's a mom to three kids she teaches little kids you know with her dance studio and after-school programs I always wanted to dance and teach others how to dance. I like to describe the heart arteries like a tree. You've got a trunk and you've got branches. When I put in a stent or somebody does open heart surgery, we're just stamping out a little fire. The entire forest is on fire and the patient has to put out the forest fire. How you do that is with the appropriate medications, exercise, and diet. 80% of cardiovascular disease is preventable. The two things you can't control are your age and your family history. Pretty much everything else, you have the power to change. The key is prevention, 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 prevention. So picking things up early and dealing with them early before you actually have a heart attack or stroke or some event. She literally saved my life. Dr. Narula, Dr. Singh, Dr. Basin, everyone at the, the hospital, they were just wonderful to me, wonderful. And I, I, I just think they're like that to everyone. So how could I ever not take care of myself? You know, we continue to have probably the highest quality cardiovascular program in the region. From risk factor modification in the prevention space to diagnosis and treatment of all cardiovascular disease, and then specific treatments that include stenting and open heart surgery and electrophysiology and structural heart disease. We provide it all and we do it better than anybody else. Right.